What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the UEB 666 watt hour portable power station. Taking a look at the specs, this has a 666 watt hour lithium battery, a 700 watt continuous power handling and 1400 watts peak, supports pass through charging and weighs only 14.72 pounds. Taking a look inside the box, you have the unit itself, your charging brick, and then you also get a DC car charging adapter. So taking a look at the power station itself, this is one of the most unique power stations I have reviewed so far. Typically power stations all look like boring black squares, but these guys went above and beyond and made this a very stylish power station. The shell is a nice glossy metallic blue. Then coming to the handle, you have a rubber grip, which kind of looks like leather. Overall, this is just a very cool, futuristic, yet retro looking device. So taking a look at the ports, you have your charging port, uh, two USB-A ports, as well as two USB-C ports. One of these USB-Cs is 30 watts and the other is 100 watts, which is always very nice to see because that means you can charge higher power devices like gaming laptops very quickly. Then you have a DC output. And then coming down here to the main ports, I really love this. A lot of power stations always have the ports exposed, which I don't like, but this one has a cover on every single port. So right here, you have your two AC outlets. And then over here, you have your DC port and that cover is nice and snug as well. So coming to the back, you have a nice large LED, which has high mode, low mode and blinking SOS mode. So over here you have high, low, and then your blinking mode. I did test this light outside and it is definitely a very bright light that will have no problem lighting up a large area or a room inside your house if you happen to lose power. So when charging up the power station with the included AC adapter, I got a maximum of 88 watts, but they do sell another adapter which will charge this unit at 240 watts. Beside this, you can also charge this unit through solar or the 100 watt USB-C port. Unfortunately, I do not have a 100 watt USB-C charger, but I was able to charge this using the power brick plus a 65 watt USB-C adapter, which bumped my charging speed to 153 watts. All right, so using about a 200 watt load on the AC outlet, I drained this power station from 100 to 0% and got a total of 633 watt hours. Doing the math, that puts this unit at a whopping 95% efficiency. Most power stations are usually somewhere around the 85 to 90% range, so this power station definitely ranks above most on the market and has a very good usable capacity. I try to plug in my full-size fridge, but unfortunately, due to the peak watts it draws at startup, the power station just shut off and was not able to run it. So if you are looking to power larger appliances, then you're best going with the unit that has a larger power handling. But for anything that draws 700 watts or less, this one would definitely be a great option. With this power station, you'll be able to charge a cell phone 54 times, a drone 12 times, a laptop 5 to 7 times, a projector for 8 hours, or even a mini fridge for up to 9 hours. Lastly, this unit has a ton of different features to put your mind at ease when it comes to its safety and reliability. This unit not only has UL and FCC certifications, but it's also made of a V0 flame retardant plastic. Then you have an advanced battery management system, which monitors the power station to keep it safe at all times. Overall, this power station not only looks better than most on the market, but more importantly, it also performs better as well. If you are looking for a portable power station around this size and capacity, then this one here from UEB is definitely a great option to consider. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.